coming, so you go when you're ready. ready. <laughs> oh shit. That's a good one. You need to put that in bloopers. <laughs> Have we got food in our teeth? You can check, everyone check. Everyone check. Everyone good? Oh, I do. Okay. Alright, here we go. Welcome to 10 Questions with ADU, <laughs> and the very first time we've done one in side a van so something a little bit different we've got some serious lighting going on over here so chris will show you what we've got lighting up our faces so we, we look, ryobi we look amazing <laughs> all right question number one is very very tricky who are you what are your names and are you on social media martin what's your name <laughs> martin <laughs> martin <laughs> phyllis wallace nathan maisie and we are part of the Free to Explore team, and yes, we are on socials. We have uh, Instagram, Facebook, website, and we are lucky doing YouTube very shortly too. And TikTok. And Theodore. And yeah, Theodore. Oh, we forgot Theodore. about Theodore. Hang on. Poor little Theodore. Theodore. Hey, Theodore. Is Theodore on Instagram? Theodore yeah. does have an Instagram. <laughs> yes. Isn't Theodore amazing. <laughs> so, what's his, what's his Instagram handle? Um, I think it's Theodore something amazing. <laughs> Like when our dog Sprocket had an Instagram, my daughter started it. She's like, I can't really remember. I think it's Sprocket Staffy with an IE or maybe a Y. So just hunt around for this cute little fella. He is on Instagram somewhere. Um, question number two, equally as tricky. Where are you guys from? Lennox Head. <laughs> is that a trick question? What, what's my trick? I was going to try to process it in a van. We live in a van. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we were, we were in the way. We were there. We were at Lennox. We were everywhere. Well, you were born in Lismore, mate. If you want to get technical, <laughs> this is straight out of Lismore. This mate. is very, <laughs> very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've kind of gone everywhere. We've been really gypsies for the last, like, since we really met. We've been here in Sydney. We've been everywhere. So, so where were you born? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Yep. And how long have you been in Australia? Twenty years. Twenty years. Oh. So <laughs> you, you're an Aussie. You're mate. an Aussie now. <laughs> where were you born? He's not an Australian. Um, <laughs> I was born in Wollongong, but grew up northern New South Wales, and we lived in Lennox Head before we hit the road two years ago. Okay, so where, where do you, if you go home for a visit, for you it's New Zealand, clearly your family in New Zealand. Yeah. What about you, where do you go home to visit? Well, it used to be northern New South Wales, but my mum's just moved back to Wollongong. Oh, nice. So it's kind of like home is where family is, so yeah. we've got multiple homes. Yeah, nice. Cool. You kids love that? Mm. <laughs> oh my god, stop eating cream. <laughs> Number three, <laughs> how long have you been travelling and how long will you continue? Have we said it before? No, we haven't yet. Not yet. <laughs> We've been on the road for two years, but we don't know how long. Yeah, so that's full time for two years. Yeah, and, and we we also had another child with us, but we got yeah. rid of her and uh, replaced <laughs> her with a dog. You sound today. like us. It's her birthday today, actually. It is her birthday. No, oh. she's travelled with us for two years. She's fourteen today. She wanted to. She's in a talented sports program, so she's gone to Illawarra Sports High and living with my mum for twelve months. So we're travelling for the next twelve months, and then we'll see. We might. Maisie wants to go back to school, we might go to Europe, we're not sure, but prior to hitting the road... School, Europe, man. <laughs> prior to hitting the road, though, we travelled all school holidays internationally, so the kids have been to 19 countries. We wanted to teach them geography, history and culture through experiencing it, yep. not just Perfect. online. Yeah. And look, they're much better for it, clearly. <laughs> it's going well. It's going very well. <laughs> um, so question number four... <laughs> this is great. Number the camera's four. just wiggling because I'm laughing so much. <laughs> All of these questions have need for expansion, and number four is the same. What are you travelling in? A van. <laughs> there you go, we'll just leave it at this that. This is where we expand on it. Um, so we're actually just uh, travelling in a Royal Flair 21.6. Uh, we designed a new model for them, which is the Ecomate, which... It's absolutely mint, and we're loving it. So it's a um, palace on wheels. On medium maintenance. <laughs> no, no, if, I was, if I was high maintenance, I would not live in a caravan. This is true. I, I'm, I'm you would be right. Yes, a hundred percent. So. <laughs> We wanted like luxury and comfort, but to be able to go to the most rugged, remote places, and you know, I think that's something in the caravan space that can yes. be elevated. It's nearly yep. like a pride that you got to like rough it, and it you can go. You don't have to rough it. And people have an exactly. issue. They say glamping. Oh, you're glamping. It's like, yeah, we're glamping. Yeah, of course we are. <laughs> why wouldn't you? We're on the road all the time. Exactly. And this is why, like, this space here is 
huge for us. It gives us all our yeah. work room, school, yeah. like schooling, and yeah. then we have a bed up this top. Up oh, here. this one we've got to show everyone. So this is the large lounge, and there is the bed up there. I was pushing any buttons right now. A king size bed. King size. Do you want me to press the button and come down? <laughs> <laughs> so the bed lowers <laughs> down. So super king. Well, yeah. we're not little, and if I don't sleep, I don't cope. I'll become a mole. So if we, if you get good, that's true. Not all the time, but if you get good sleep, that will make such a difference. And then yeah. these things go away. <laughs> and if you're travelling full time, like we, our setup was delayed. We upgraded the car and the van, and we had. Well, we were going to do a couple of months in hiking tents, but it only lasted a few weeks, so we ended up buying a Has property. anyone actually hiked like, in hiking tents so, for that long? That, no. it's, They're not meant for that. Intense. It's intense. Intense. Like, <laughs> they're already intense, just in a van, so... <laughs> I was quitting everything. Yeah. And car, the most beautiful 200 chop I've seen yet. Yeah, pretty happy that it has taken longer than expected, but yeah, we're super happy with it. It's I'd rather a combi. <laughs> but a, a combi can't do this. Just <laughs> no, just want to let you know, tow capacity isn't that great on a combi. Tesla. It can't even tow itself most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a combi when... What, that's... We're actually camped with Savage Life over there, and we've been seeing... Pictures of what's the combi? Dala. Dala. Dala, their combi. Gorgeous. Oh, ins insert picture here of Dala and yeah, <laughs> combi fever at the moment. So before you had this current van and the current shop, what did you have before? Yeah, so we had the same a Royal Flare, but it, with the same drop down bed. But it was just we've designed a, this one with a bit more battery system, a few more luxuries. Bit more. Can you actually <laughs> elaborate on this system, a please? A lot more. Let's let's talk about probably five or six times more our previous system and yeah. before we had. 300 amps of lithium. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's, this is a monster system. Look how uh, excited he gets. It is. <laughs> this it is sounds like, like this me. Is like, <laughs> this is where the tech geek comes out. I just love that stuff. Um, but look, it's we wanted to go longer in off-grid locations. More and, water. And we wanted to put it all together. Yep. Bit of stone top benches. Stone top benches. Uh, which, yep. Oh. Check this. <laughs> Stone oh, benches. Nice. Look at the look at the tapware. Did you guys clean it? Did you go to clean it? No. Oh, oh, yeah, it's oh, oh, it's a dirty. On it. There's anyway. probably pancake all over there. <laughs> and then just to top it all off, they got a Ryobi light. Yeah. What's going on there? <laughs> that gets used. Like, because obviously I still work remotely. That is my beauty light. Yeah, beauty light. Beauty exactly. Light. Everything needs two functions. That exactly. has many, many yeah. functions. I can use under the car, under the van. Yep, good point. And reuse the batteries. Perfect, perfect. So just kind of putting it in context a little bit, these guys were actually building this mm -hmm. at the same time we were building ours, and yeah. we were pretty much doing the same thing with same. titanium that you guys were doing with Royal Flair. It's like we built the same van that we were in before, we just went boof and just beefed it up. That's so right. We did the and same they're thing. both gasless too. Yeah, they're yes. both gasless there. <laughs> so good. So, anyway. This is the future. Yeah, I believe definitely. it's the future. Definitely. Yeah. And induction. Like and induction. Having the induction cooking inside, yeah. like when we had the gas. <laughs> Like when you're, it's because hot. you chase the sun, you do not need a heater. And no. that works as an internal heater. Yeah. Um, and having the electric barbecue and the cooktop, it's just... Just the clean lines too of everything. It's and clean, yeah. everything's beautiful, yeah. yes. Yeah. You can normally clean all the pancake off. Yeah. I, <laughs> a gas... Except this today. A gas cooker's a haggard looking thing, you know, and the you oven. And wait it's, for them to cool down, to put yeah. the lid down and all the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, well this next question's probably... Oh, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. If you could change one thing about your setup, Ooh. what would it be? Ooh. I know. Um, because well, you guys have just really better internet. Better internet. Well, you guys have got some. We have got better internet, but <laughs> you're the best. We went composting toilet. We're still not. I think it's the more the model that we might have gone for. I'm okay. not going to name names, but yeah. I, I think that if I was had my time again, um, it dribbles. <laughs> over the side. Ooh, <laughs> which part dribbles? Again. The hard or the soft? <laughs> the, uh, the the liquid. liquid. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so if I had my time again, I'd probably change that brand. Yeah, okay. You still like the idea of a composting idea, toilet? I do, 100%. Yeah, because you guys were looking at the Nature's Head, which is the one that we've got, but yeah. you didn't end up with that one. But they like, didn't have any. Supply, stuff. you know, yeah. what's going on. Because we know what'll happen, because we've got the Nature's Head, and everyone asks us if we love it. And we do, we love it. So no, it's not the Nature's Head that they've got. And no, that's not the one that they don't like. Um, we're still going to get the question, so I'll just field them on to you. But do you have anything else? What do you, what would you change? I feel like... A better ladder. I feel like we need more storage. More storage. <laughs> so you want some of my You are very little. What else do you need for storage? Food! <laughs> <laughs> you can tell what drives you. Oh. So I would actually go a bigger fridge. So we had a big fridge before. 
We oh, have I a, just noticed that. We have a mini, mini fridge, but we have a fridge in the car. Yes. Um, I would go one in between what we had. We, but we tried to, but we didn't, there wasn't any stock available in that size fine. range. Okay. In saying that, oh, I just buy enough food to fill it up. We're yeah. not wasting food now. That's, so, that's, that's a, good, good, that's a that's, great point, yeah. yes. Because you actually don't need, like, if you've got excess, whereas we just have to eat what we have, mm -hmm. um, which is what we, like, ego, yeah. we want to reduce our footprint, all of that kind mm. of stuff. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so far, so good. Um, and heading more off-grid, we'll be able to see how we go. But, I mean, yeah. we ain't going to fade away anytime soon. <laughs> We've got honest. some backup storage. <laughs> so, you bigger fridge, you more storage, you want a better ladder. You, you even have a ladder. Oh, yeah, you do. There's a ladder at the side there. Okay. People uh, put their stuff in there, so I can't use this ladder. Oh, and what do, you, what, what do you want that's better? Better internet and letter. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what was... Did you have anything? The toilet. Oh, the toilet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Gosh, pay attention, Mary. Um, I'll we'll tell you that every day, honey. Now, this is a good question. <laughs> Like, we interview all sorts of people, yeah. like from all walks of life. Some people have sold everything. Some people didn't have it, everything, and they've set up like quite strapped for money. Other people have sold their businesses. So complete range. And this question is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> do you travel really? with a budget? Or do you just wing it? <laughs> Does it look like we have a budget? <laughs> I, I actually want to do a challenge. <laughs> I want to do a challenge, and I was talking to Emma about this because it'd be really funny. Because I don't think we'd cope. And but uh, who, full contact. Who, who are we putting we into this? Okay. So we... I think it's one party here. The party that comes home with clothes all the time that I have to throw out and hide. But in saying that, like just relevance for Australia, we've come from nothing. So we've had to work our asses off. We both have corporate jobs. Yep. We followed all the rules and we got to a point and I'm a like former intensive care nurse, so I know yeah. life can be short. And so the biggest thing for me is I don't want to die with regret and that's one thing that I would not take to the grave. Yeah. Time is our most precious commodity. I was only taught the traditional way of go to school get a degree, get a job, you work hard. Yep. Um, whereas now, over time, we've figured out how to work smart. What's the question again? Budget? No. <laughs> Budget. No, we don't. Yep. Full disclosure, like, I've worked my ass off. Yeah. Um, it's not, I still, you have to work. You still have to work hard. I work still, but it's yeah. all on my own terms. And it's yeah. more about the mission for me, helping other people have what we have, because I'll never forget where we come from. Yeah. yeah. And the turning point was missing his first birthday. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think you've also got to like um, find solutions for you as well. Like, there's so many different ways you can make money on oh, the road. Like, yes. Yeah. There, there is. They're, they're calling out everywhere. There's not. There's. They don't have the backpackers. They don't have. And there's. There's different things you've been doing. You have businesses yeah. on the road. You can do lots of different things. Yeah. Well, like but, Sue over there, she's got her remote. corporate job, and yeah. she she works remotely. Yeah, yeah. Remotely. You you do yours online. Emma yeah. does hers online. We do social media stuff. Plus, part of our jobs before we've brought online with us. Like there are yeah. so many. There's yeah. so many avenues here. Yeah, so I guess working online, you don't have as much of a budget as if you've sold and everything, you've got this amount in your account, and that's all you've got to get you through yeah. a lap or whatever. Because you're not doing a lap, you're on here, or on the road. You're living your lifestyle. Yeah. yeah, so we go a little bit slower. Yeah. Um, Monday, Tuesday are our work days, um, and the kids do schooling. Um, we'll do occasionally like a Thursday as well, making yeah. sure we have internet around that. Um, look at That's him. And but it's like the biggest thing I say to people because a lot of people ask us about the homeschooling element as well. Yeah. Is like if we were on a six to twelve month trip, I wouldn't. I'd make them write a diary. I yeah. wouldn't do like a structured yeah. because yeah. you just that's a once in a lifetime trip. Just because yeah. bloody it. enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. And they'll learn more from it anyway. Way so. more. Absolutely. Um, and then, but for ours, it's a lifestyle. So we go. It yeah. works. It's working it like figure it out. Um, all that yeah. fear that people have around not going, mm -hmm. like you, we were at an age, our eldest was at 11, mm. um, and then she became a teenage dirtbag, so I can understand. Hey! <laughs> we love you, Zali. <laughs> she even, she we knows. We miss you. Reminder, it's her birthday. Yes. She knows. We've been FaceTiming her this morning. She's like, I want to stay home and play Fortnite all day. I'm like, nah, you chose school. <laughs> Off you go, darling. <laughs> but it's like, go with your kids still want to hang out with yeah, you while yeah. they're young and we were at that point and literally <laughs> six, that? What was that? six weeks later well, she's a teenager now so <laughs> she's, she's a teenager oh, <laughs> but like within six to eight weeks we had made the decision bought a van picked it up packed up and hit the road yeah, yeah. so it's like just do it just do you it you don't want to be jumping it. into other questions though Martin. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. If you crossed over into <laughs> no, another question, we like I, would, it. I would put a stop to the conversation. Okay. Edit, editing power. Yeah, yeah, I just cut it right out. Okay, 
so number seven is what is the best part about this lifestyle and you can have a question each so let's start with you young man Me? best part about this lifestyle what do you love about it when there's people there because dad acts nice. <laughs> 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 Busted dad. Hey, high five it. I'm the same with Chris. When there's people around he acts nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> and then that, he's nice to me. Yeah, I know. Chris is nice oh. to me when there are people around. I get it. I totally get it. I can't, get I can't, it. I can't yell at you go, you do get off your work. iPad, do your school work. I know, and you can't, you can't yell at them in the van because people no, can we hear do. you. We do. Oh, they do, you get it anyway. Oh. We apologise in advance if you came near us. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I reckon it's just meeting different people. Like you meet so many different people on the road, and like we've made so many like lifelong friends yeah. that we would never have even like been introduced to. And then they introduce you to other people, so it's just like a little like connection all around. Well, it's like happened just now. Yeah, like exactly, we met 100%. those guys because and yeah. we met you in Tassie yeah. like over a year ago, and here we yeah. are again. Such a common answer, isn't it? Yeah. And you bump into people like people. it's funny how you just turn into a site and we've gone. Oh, God. And yeah. we've done it like six or seven times with yeah. all these different people. It's like, we've seen them there, 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 there. <laughs> and it's going to continue the way you guys are all moving across exactly. to the peninsula now, hey? 100%. Well, it just turns into family. Oh, absolutely, the people, but the adventure. Like, we, yeah. we're gypsies yeah. um, by hey. blood. We get bored very easily. <laughs> so right. the fact that, like, we That's literally right. will, it started in Tassie. We don't know where to go. All right, flip a coin. Heads we go left, tails we go right. We literally <laughs> so cool, do isn't that. It? And oh, just awesome. like, you know, or the weather, we were in Tassie, the weather's shit here. All right, so we just drove to the other end of Tasmania. Yeah. Because it was it still, sun, so. the same Just the, the other, other end, end of Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> we're so that, was at, that was at Christmas time, too. Yeah, like, we went all, all, all the way over. Yeah, and like yeah. Tasmanians don't even go for more like one hour. Right? Right. 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 Yes. <laughs> My long distance friends, half of them hadn't even been to Hobart before. I'm like, it was like two hours down the road. Right. Yeah. So, but yeah, really the people right. and the adventure, and just like getting to see all different walks of life. One of my favourite moments was we went to the Buru Ruler show. What? Buralula. Buralula. Yeah, Which is out in the middle of the NT and their local show was on and it was so good. Um, me and the three kids and he's like, I'm not going. I'm like, whatever, I'm going. And it was I had to had some work to do. So it was like eight thirty on like a Thursday or Friday night. We go down to the local Buralula show and it was so good for the kids because literally they were the only white people there. Oh cool. and that's racist. It's not racist. <laughs> it's what happened. It's so you. good to give you oh, insight of the diversity of different cultures <laughs> and to help them feel well you're a quarter. I was gonna say you're yeah, not white right. if you look at you. You're a little mix like my little boy. <laughs> but like we've taken them overseas in different cultures and just to give them more insight yeah. and empathy that, you know, to be a minority. I loved yeah. it. And yeah. everyone stared at us when we walked in and Hang on your eyes are that your eyes are blue. You would have been mm. yeah. And Zali's got blonde hair. So yeah. um yeah, no it was cool. It was a cool experience. And I just love yeah, just all the different people you meet along in these yeah. Yeah. and oh my god the not the corrugated roads but the destinations they lead to <laughs> even though she goes why the hell are we on this road for you like, pick the shittest roads <laughs> every time we're like, like this for today. days on days i know it's like oh i need to a different bar or <laughs> but she, was, she was really getting like getting at me and oh, i was like oh man so I'm, dramatic. I'm just gonna here yeah, you drive them <laughs> In, the, wherever you in want. the outback when we were near Blood Creek, at one stage, I just wanted to pull over, get a helicopter to lift us out of there. So you literally <laughs> stopped the car and go, oh, I can't go back and I don't want to go forward. Let's put a helicopter to come and get me out. And I was like, oh. You need a big bloody, you need a chance. Oh, well, I mean, she knocked to take us out. Well, oh, that's your name. God. That's what they call me. Oh, Shinook. really? Shinook. Shinook. I'm like, what is that? Now that word just keeps coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that was the best part about this lifestyle, wasn't it? So yeah. the next question is, what's the worst part about this life? Oh, Aside oh, from the corrugator. His composting road. toilet. No, I'm here first. Living with a family in a small van. There you go. Living with, a, living with your family. Oh, I'm not oh, in a small really. space. Oh, what I don't know. Like, you don't. What are you going to say? About taking Theodore out, feeding him, taking him to the toilet, Where were you taking this morning? him back in, playing with him. That's the worst oh, part. That's, that's the worst what I part. did most of the time. In the morning. Because Maisie's asleep with her eye pillow on. <laughs> it's mum. It's not it's... a morning person. Mum, get off my bed. 
have to put my feet on the bed because the ladder's uncomfortable and then jump off. Mm. But then some. That's why you want a different ladder. Tough life, isn't it, mate? Because you get yelled at. Right, okay. So the worst part for you is looking after the dog that your sister's supposed to look after. That's not a terrible thing. Like, that's that's not a bad, worse thing. Well, you were complaining but about that's how it, good about his your life dog. Is. Oh, yeah. What was that? <laughs> that's how women from here say it. Over, overprivileged. There you go. What about you? What's your worst thing? Living in the van with the family close together. That's your worst thing. Yeah, it, it, oh, I don't know. <laughs> it looks like you're suffering. <laughs> so this is just suffering. this is a note for all of you people who are thinking of packing up and travelling with kids in tow. They grow up and they decide that it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but then when they get older, they'll be like, oh my God, you guys are such the best parents. Yeah, we had yeah. the greatest yes. time. I had the best memories. But it is tough, like living Maybe in a small space. Yeah, like, it is difficult. And homeschooling, sometimes it can be like, yeah, I'm... <laughs> that's why I say Just he has to, be, has to be nice to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, that's what, you know, I went out there this morning and pretty much says, you guys, you've got 10, ten minutes, minutes and otherwise your on. dog's gone. I heard that. I hey, heard Siri, it. Siri, count down 10 minutes and if you guys aren't in here when the bell rings, the dog's gone. <laughs> but I, I think that's the best, best point about that is because yeah. you, you need structure for them. Because otherwise they can become too free range. Like, we want to create, like, yeah. freedom, but we also need to have so there needs to be boundaries. There has to be yeah. structure and boundaries that goes with freedom. Otherwise, freedom it... can be disrupted. Because they're not being on the gravy chain. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Gravy. I like gravy. <laughs> You're going to create your own gravy. You do yeah. love gravy. That's what my daughter's doing right now. All of her studies to try and create her own whatever it is she decides she wants to do. I don't 100%. know yet. Yeah. 100%. Cool. What about yours? Um. Well, I've got good storage options now. Okay, I do. <laughs> this is obviously a priority in, in the lot. <laughs> but like I, I do miss some of my first world luxuries, like eyelashes. Eyelashes in a bathtub. Well, when you're like really white, I don't tan. Your tanning, your tanning <laughs> options aren't very uh, as. Well, like, I can easy. get by with my tan. Mine washes off sadly, but I'm like neon, <laughs> and my family are not. So they go brown, I fade, but then I'm browner for a few days and I fade away. Um, so that. That side of it, um, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. I think for me, like initially, it was figuring out the structure, how the work, the kids, but still enjoying the trip because I am Balance. a very hard worker. Yeah, and I do season, so yeah, I guess it's that finding that new balance and very rarely do you get any time to yourself. And mm. in the work that I do, and like just being part of the family you give so much yeah and like every now and again it's like oh my god i just need to get away from all of you yeah for a couple of days <laughs> yep and they, they feel it too but just yeah. to have that time to breathe and not we have someone in your you face <laughs> all the time <laughs> but it is well, we, we are just two of us and we get like that so yeah. mm. i totally understand that but we're sure. very transparent with each other <laughs> so sure. that helps okay. very open and honest family. <laughs> and it's refreshing though it's really refreshing to see Maisie's not honest Sally's not honest <laughs> You, you're very you honest though. Are. So next question is, what's your favourite location and or adventure within oh Australia? We need to clarify that. Yeah, we're yes. not opening it up to the world, where it's just in Australia. Why don't you go first, darling? So, oh, see, to pick one. That's hard, isn't it? It's difficult. I love South Australia. We only had a snippet when we were here last time. We only did six weeks. Um, but I would have to say, tapping on the back of the hating the corrugated roads Sorry. for days and days and days, we come across the southern lost city. So it's like literally in the middle of Australia. So this is after Lemon, when I was Lemon National Park. getting emotional about oh, yeah. the days and days Traumatic. of red dirt corrugated yeah. roads. I'm like, why do you always pick the shittest road to go on <laughs> that just goes for days and days? And then we come in to this... It's literally, and you can insert a picture here, one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. And I was just like... Is it the big hotel? No, no, no. no? It's just like... Oh. I can't even explain it's it. It's just rock, rock formations. It's kind of like Bungle Bungles, how it's... Oh, okay. Rock, right. Pancake rock. Right. Our no, no. van looked like it was this big, and then the sun set, and it was just oh, in the middle of nowhere. God. And it was, it was hot. There was flies. But it was just like, that's was one of the called? most... 
Southern Lost City. It's one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. And Rocco Island. I want to buy the island. And <laughs> Rocco Island! Live, I'm excited. And I want to live there. <laughs> yeah. Watch we are going in one place. We're planning a little trip together to Rocco Island. Yeah, I never heard it existed and didn't know about it until yesterday. And now I'm oh my god! Super it was it made the drive to Kate, and then when you get there, they feed you the sunset. The pictures don't even look real, but they do all your meal prep. You got little tents, hot fresh water in these. Like they have made the bathrooms out of stone, like literally stones with concrete. It's just can't wait. we hot need to water. travel together more often. Especially, especially in Cape York. <laughs> and the catamaran. The seven day uh, Sunday, Sunday. 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 It was okay. like Amazing. from going from a caravan on one of them. It's like, oh my god, we're like in a mansion! We've got so much room! But the colour of the water and just being free. Yeah, There's so heaps. Like Tasmania was awesome. Like we had a, like three months Tassie that was all, like so good. The catamaran, Cape York, and all up the Gulf. Yeah. Like, so many beautiful yeah, places. You can't pick one place. It's no, so one, no, it all has its For own beautiful. Reasons. Yeah, absolutely. So, what was your favourite part of Tasmania? Um, Bay of Fires is like yeah. beautiful. Uh, See, I enjoyed the wombats and the baby yeah. wombats on Mariah Island. Island. Oh, we oh, found Island. this free camp that was just stunning, and we had we were with kind of Gypsy yeah. and crew. Bob and Jen. Yes. Um, and so, like awesome people, we had the most spectacular sunsets and sunrises. And yeah. then we went out, and there was like we saw the mum and the baby po um, wombats, Aww. possums, wombats. <laughs> yeah, they're not cute. And we only did the short walk. It was like balmy and cold, we didn't but walk just around the lake. We took a trip yeah, down lake. Double lake, yeah. yeah. It was just yeah. So I don't know. Like and Tassie, the thing I love about Tassie, it's got everything. And then we went to that place Lots where you nearly camps. totaled the van. <laughs> Not total. Well, you wrecked the step and we got air and <laughs> it wasn't really recommended for what? our type of air, but no. that was an epic spot as well. I don't even know where it was. But it's in, like the middle on, in the middle of lakes and there's no one around there. The it was central. Just Central yeah, Lakes. Central, yeah, Central, Central Lakes. Lakes is beautiful there, yeah. yeah. And it was just a Central farmland that, pro like, someone we went in the shop said, go around here, there's some private property, you can just jump on there. And Oh, they're the best. Those are the Derby, best. Derby, Derby. Derby, Derby. The floating sauna, the mountain bike. Like, we got on the track. Mate, mate. We're on the track. You appreciate this because you got e-bikes. I would have loved to see you guys on the MTV tracks. <laughs> so I got an e-bike. Oh. They all had pedal bikes. I was like, what the hell? I'm getting an e-bike. I'm not... Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, not with that context. But me and Nathan, like, we, I'm like, he's gone and literally on there, and his whole body just launched off the track. Then I, I've got on. kids in front of me, and I was like. off. And I'm like, oh, mate, are we on the right track? Why like, is this the beginner track? So it was. Did you go on a, You must have taken know. a green. It must have no, been. That was. Like, oh, was it green? But no, it was no. wet. Oh, was it the one where you go past the, the sauna and then up that way? No, no, no. This is up, up on the, the mountain. Up you got the bus the up. Oh. And there's rocks. And we're like, we do not, we ride bikes. Like, we don't mount Can we go back there together? <laughs> yeah. And we need to film. I was yes. like, oh my God, it was, there was so many Over the moments. handlebars. Oh, <laughs> Blue, Blue so Derby is epic. Funny. Absolutely but epic. Fun. Blue yeah, Derby. So you heaps of locations. Oh, oh heaps, heaps of adventures. What's yours? The one in Derby, there was this massive, massive tunnel. And when you the could tunnel. Oh, the tunnel was and cool. And the lights up and lights Yeah, the tunnel was really cool. We got headlights really cool. on our e-bikes, and that was the first time we used them going through the tunnel. <laughs> to the tunnel, yeah. Very cool because we got our e-bike brand new the like three weeks before we two weeks before we left Tassie. Yeah. Good and timing. We were like right to Derby, so we just spent a whole week at Derby riding. Awesome. But yes, Derby A grade. Yeah. And the pizza shop was good pizza. Oh yes, oh, the yeah. restaurant yeah. there is good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we ate there a lot, and the dessert yeah. calzone. Anyway, off topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So next question. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. What was yours? Um, let's say I was ten. Oh, we still Derby, are we? No. Oh. So we did a drift in the van in the car. Oh, oh drifting! Oh, oh, that's baby yeah. Chili Beach, we nearly died twice. Oh, Chili Beach. Beach. <laughs> it was a really lot, like a um, steep downhill with a big turn and a, and uh, there was nothing, no turns oh. on any maps I was still coming up. Yeah, and it just lucky. pretty much just locked locked up and then the van pushed. Oh, the push the car. So and then we died. Yeah. And this we is your were, we favourite moment. <laughs> You're a nutcase, mate. I asked for him to do it again. <laughs> oh, please, Dad. Can we do that again? So and probably another we driving I... on the OT2. Oh, that was cool, too. That sucked. Yeah. He did gunshot. Maybe he used to have a fear of um, four-wheel driving. And a lot of people, when their kids are like scared of something, they protect them from it. Oh, hell no. We throw ours in. Yeah, he's exactly We throw ours in the deep end, too, yeah. yeah. 
So she would get like sick like and she'd have panic strange. attacks because we were in the Sunshine Coast and Nathan, he was flying the drone. I'm like, I'll drive. I didn't realise the drop. It was like just, this drop like that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was funny. On, which drop? Like it was in the Sunshine oh, Coast. Oh, I was thinking you just did gunch. I just drove off it. <laughs> no, nah, right, okay. But it was, it was like a very mini one. But yeah, mini Maisie gunshot. freaked out. So she had this anxiety around four-wheel driving. <laughs> well, then to Katie, oh, she's fine now. She tried. It was, I swear to God, it was like that. To one. She just, oh, she's like, oh, just put that on down. I couldn't see. I think the best way to get over your fear is immersion, right? Yeah. yeah you know what my, not absolute, by dying, my fear phobia is? Yeah. Vomit and no one with that one. <laughs> this is why I don't drink too much. Because yeah, well, <laughs> I'll be sleeping outside. Yeah. Alright, so question number 10. Um, oh, I'm not gonna, I can't remember where you guys are from, so I don't even, I've got no idea. Lennox. You could go either way. Melinda. Melinda. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Yeah.